All right, let me kind of preface what's going on here before this video ever starts. This is another tree takedown video. Uh, this tree here is at the same guy's house that we took down the big oak tree a few weeks ago. This is just the rest of more takedown is what it is. Okay, so this tree here that we're going to take down is an old gnarly gum, uh, sweet gum tree. It has them gum balls on it. The tree come up. And had this bad twist in it. It's a decent sized tree. The teeth on Derek's cutters were shot. I mean, there's no way he could have cut through that tree. But anytime you got a tree that has a real bad crook in it, every time you cut that thing, when you cut through that thing and, and you grab it with that saw head, immediately what happens when you grab when you cut through it and you grab it, that tree spins on you real quick. It spins to where the crook is to the inside and the way the tree is to the outside. All right, this tree's up against this wooden fence right here. I didn't, you know, Derek could have cut it, maybe, maybe not, but here's the deal. Anytime you're doing tree work like this, this is a hard job that I got. You don't take any chances whatsoever. So I just had Derek, uh, when we went to cut it, I just had Derek pick me up with the saw head uh, put a rope in it. He pulled it over for me when I cut it. And I didn't notice till this video y'all finna watch. That's a lion tree. If you notice it's got yellow paint on the other side of it, that is a, that's a lion tree there. Or right, one other thing I want to talk about too. Y'all see this thing right here? I wear it on my wrist all the time. And, or not all the time, but when I'm filming with my GoPros. And I have people constantly want to know what this thing is right here. What's that thing? That is my remote control for my GoPro. I can control up to 50 GoPros. So I've got I've got two GoPros. So if I got both of them sitting there, when I hit that button right there, it turns them on. And when I hit that button right there, it turns them off. So I think most people have figured out that when they see me touch this thing, that the camera goes off. And so they done figured out that that's remote control. But I get asked all the time, what is on my wrist? What is, I had one guy ask in two different videos today, what was that on my wrist? I kept waiting for somebody to tell him. So, and, and, but, and I like that. I like when other people answer questions because y'all know as much as I do. But, uh, but enjoy this video. It's a fun video. Uh, mess around taking this tree down. And, uh, um, so I'm going to go ahead and say it now because you're not going to get it at the end because I'm editing this and on my computer. So, later, Titers. See, Modder, see it's recording right now. See, see yourself right there. <laughs> I got you. Boy, get out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, Enjoy, I got one more up in the bar right here. It's up against this fence. Get that crook in it. Teeth are dull. I ain't going to take no chances. I'm going to bore it and let Derek pull it. I'm going to put the rope up in it right quick.
you were to go over there beside him, he's going to be pulling right there. And I'm going to hinge you where to fall right down beside him right there. He's putting a little pressure on it for me. I'm watching the rope. Alright, he's locked down. He's going to hold it right there. See, he ain't, he ain't 40 feet from the tree there. How you do, man? No, sir. That's your job. <laughs> Yes. 
see that tree right back when he let off of it. It didn't go nowhere. What up, kid? What's your name? What's your name? Leon Evans. Leon Evans? What's that nickname? Huh? What's your nickname? I ain't got one. You ain't? No. <laughs> Wife calls the asshole. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. I didn't get that on that kid. Damn. I turned while I seen that. when you let spray drift on you with the herbicides when you're spraying kill all these trees see it burns that one you can see what we've done down through there how we've cleaned taken all them down we got a few more right here we're gonna get and we're gonna call this project done i'm just walking i'm trying to I'm watching the ground here for Derek right now because it's uh it's pretty wet see it kind of walking just a little bit Machine's still standing up okay though right now. Because what we don't want, we don't want to have to haul another machine up here to pull that machine out. That's the goal. It should not have to do that. That ground's still pretty good right there too. We just have to do two more big trees. That poplar and that oak on the other side. before stalling it where you can pull it back and get it out. There you go. It's gone. There we go. On the ground. Let me get that oak over there. We'll be done. So yeah, I like doing stuff like this right here. 
you notice Danny and, and Scott and Kevin, everybody know what to do. We do it all the time. I mean, we just, it, it's a constant thing taking these trees down like this right here. And if you watch Kevin when everything's going, he's smiling because he knows exactly what's, he, you know, he knows what I'm going to do, what Derek's going to do, everything. And uh, so it was pretty cool. Uh, there are going to be some people in the comments, I'll tell you right now, they're going to say, you, you could have cut that tree, you could, and it's just like I said in the beginning of it. Yeah. But here's the other thing. A lot of people say, well, you could have done this, you could have done that on all my videos. Uh, you know, and I'm sitting there screaming, and I want to just scream at them and say, yeah, but I would not have got this video. I don't, I don't understand why people don't, don't get that. The reason why I do some of the things I do is to get the videos that I show y'all. Most everybody understands that, but uh, there's some who don't. But uh, it's fun working working together with all of them and and um, doing this kind of stuff like that. I, I enjoy it. Uh, I don't ever look at those trees and wonder how I'm going to do it or what I'm going to do or anything like that. I just I look at it as a job. Stand back, look at it. Okay, let's do it. You know, and I've got my plan together, and and these guys, I trust them with my life. Uh, Kevin and Derek and and, uh, and my dad, I trust them with my life, uh, doing that stuff, and and they trust me. You know, they know if I say this is going to work like this, that's how it's going to work. You know, so I just. Let's get it done. That's what I like to do. But uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. It should be a great uh, Friday video for y'all to watch today. I uh, hope you have a great weekend this weekend. Uh, if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. I, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, remember, I'm going to be at the Paul Bunyan show coming up the first weekend in uh, October. I believe it's the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Yes, 6th, 7th, and 8th of October. That's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, I'll be there selling shirts and all that stuff like that. I'll be there all day. So stop by, see me, talk to me, take pictures, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter to me. But uh, so for that, right, as far as that goes, I'm going to get on out of here. So y'all going to get two later taters because I figured I'd add on to the end of this one right here right quick. But um uh, We'll catch y'all later. Appreciate all y'all, too. Very much appreciate all y'all. Later, taters.